everyone, it's Missy, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Baby Lock Spirit Embroidery Machine. So the first thing you need to do is purchase the Baby Lock Embroidery Upgrade Kit. Now you want to make sure that it fits the model number BLPY, which is for Baby Lock Spirit. The BLTY and BLJY stand for the Journey or Unity machines, but BLPY is what we're focusing on today. Um, so the people are probably going to ask how much does this upgrade kit cost and you have to go to your local dealer and see what the purchase price is. I can tell you that the dealer that sold me this kit sold it for $300 but because I purchased the embroidery machine from them um, and I purchased this kit like the day after I purchased the machine they did honor the 25% discount promotion that was going on so if you're looking to get the embroidery upgrade kit I strongly recommend that you look at this the accessories and options like this when you purchase your machine because then you can take advantage of the discounts because with 25% off the purchase price I got $75 off which wasn't too bad um, with this kit you're going to be getting a 12 inch by 8 inch embroidery hoop and grid, an 8 inch by 8 inch embroidery hoop and grid, um, 30 embroidery designs for your machine, as well as the multi-line text function. So we're going to be upgrading our machine, which is great. Um, there's going to be a CD inside this box. So you're going to need to have a computer handy, and you're also going to need to have your machine handy. And you're going to want them close together simply because we'll be inputting codes in both the computer and the machine to process this upgrade. So on the back of the box, it kind of shows you a sneak peek of the new embroidery designs that you'll have. It also shows you, of course, the two hoops that you'll be getting. Again, this upgrade um, makes your machine... Um, embroider a 12 inch by 8 inch area compared to the 12 inch by 7 inch area it comes with. And then the multi-line text function. So we'll be able to do, it shows six lines of text on this um, logo or icon here, which is something that I am looking forward to, forward to doing. And then of course on the back it says it's compatible with the Unity, the Journey, and the Spirit machines. And what the package includes and then of course there's system requirements. So with the CD-ROM, you need to, of course to have a CD-ROM drive. You're going to need a USB port. Uh, the reason for that is because the embroidery designs are on that CD and we need to have a way to transfer them to the machine. You can either save them to a stick and put them in the machine or you can transfer them to the machine's hard drive via the cable that comes with the machine in the box. Um, you're going to need internet access, but most importantly, you're going to need to have either Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, or Windows Vista 32 or 64 bit systems, um, and then an IBM or compatible computer. So, in my tutorial, I'll be using a Dell computer, and I am using Windows 7 uh, to complete this installation. So, let's open up the box and see what we have inside. Okay, so I just slid this right out of the box, and we have our new hoops and grids right up on top. Uh, this looks to be the 12, nope, this is the 8x8 eight eight inch. So I'm going to set that off to the side. I'm actually going to flip this over. Well, looks like I'm going to have to um, undo some tape here. Okay, so I took the tape off the package, and then inside is our 12 by 8 inch hoop and grid, which is a fairly large hoop. So this would be the same embroidery area as the Baby Lock Destiny. For those of you who have brother machines, that would be the same as the Brother Dream Machine. So those are the grids. And I'm actually trying to get here to the user guide and CD. Here we are. That is the most important part. So I'm going to set the boxes off to the side. Okay, so we have our installation guide and we have our CD. I just put the CD in the drive and I'm going to put it in my computer. It is very important that we follow the installation guide because you basically have a one shot at getting this right. If you kind of screw this up, <laughs> you want to make sure your numbers are right and everything because um, you don't Otherwise, you'd have to purchase another kit, and we don't want to do that. 
So, I got my screen. Let's see. I'm going to open the folder. And it should bring us to a wizard. Select the key wizard kit one. So we're just going to double click on that. And we want it to run in English, but you can choose French or Spanish. So I'm going to go OK. And then while, OK, here we go. So this is the introduction. We want to install kit one. So I'm going to select next. And this is where I need to choose um, to make sure that my um, machine is actually ready to go. So over at the machine, I want to choose settings. And I'm going to want to go to page four. And this is important. I want to make sure that version one is 3.03. .03. That matches what I see on my screen, version 3.03. .03. Now, if your machine doesn't show that version, you're going to want to stop and you're going to want to update your machine. Um, normally, your machines are going to be up to date when you buy them, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you bought your machine and then had it for a couple of years and are purchasing the kit, you're going to want to update your machine first before you do the upgrade kit. Oh, and then also I want to show you that on the machine, it does have a certification button for kit one, which is what this is, is kit one. So the program, so I need to select the model number. Now this is also very important because we want to make sure that we have the right model number. So because we're doing a uh, baby lock spirit machine, I'm going to be choosing model number BLPY, so the top one. All right, and then I want to click download. And then I'm just going to save this file to my desktop. I'm going to go save. And it's just um, put it in a place on your computer that you know that you can check. The desktop for me is the easiest place. And then we'll see. Well, it's downloading pretty fast. All right, download has been completed. So I'm going to click OK. And now we can click Next. The instruction, um, so I need to select the language that I want the operational manual in. You can again select French or Spanish. I'm going to do English and I'm going to download and again I'm going to save that to my desktop. Alright, so we finished downloading so now I can click next. This is where I'm going to type in my 15 digit um, CD key on the label. So this is the one that's actually attached to the CD case. And I'll just show you that right here. So on the bottom, this is the code. Again, this is a one-use code. Um, yours will definitely be different when you purchase your kit. But I'm just going to enter in these numbers. Okay, I typed in the numbers and I double-checked to make sure that it's correct. So I'm going to click Next. Must have been correct because we went to the next screen. So type in the 10 digit number for the sewing machine being used. So I'm just going to show you that on my machine. And again, your machine is going to be different. But they're talking about this number right here. So that's the number I'm going to type into the computer. And again, double check to make sure that that number is correct. Okay, so I got that number entered. I'm going to click next. Check that the CD key and the number have been entered correctly. If this information has not been entered correctly, kit one cannot be used with your sewing machine. So this is very, very important that we double check that all these numbers are correct before we hit certify. So I verify that the numbers are correct. We're going to click certify. And this is the certification key that I'm going to enter into my machine. So if I go over to my machine, there's a button that says certification. I'm going to click that and certify upgrade kit one. So I'm going to click kit one. And this is where I'm going to enter my number. All right, once you enter in your certification key number, you're going to select set. Certification was successful, so now all I need to do is restart the sewing machine, so I'm just going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on. And the embroider unit will move. 
And then also on the computer, I am going to select finish on the wizard. Okay, so once we have our files downloaded, we need to get this file transferred to our machine, which is the actual upgrade kit file. To do that, you can either do one of two things. You can put it on a USB stick and put it on your machine, or you can do like I'm doing where I'm going to be in, plugging in my cable into my computer and my machine. To do that, I'm going to shut my sh machine off. And then, this is going to take some work because I'm actually holding on to my camera, but I am going to be holding this button down while I turn on my machine to get my screen to come up with a transfer. It's, I think it's a transfer screen or it has the transfer buttons on it. So, let's give it a shot. Okay, sorry I wasn't able to show that in the video, but I held that button down all the way um, while I press the on switch and I was able to get this screen to appear. So what you want to do is, so this is the USB drive, this is computer connection, so I'm going to select that and then I'm going to plug in my cable. So this is the cable that gets inserted into this slot down here. There we are. And then I also need to insert it into my computer. Perfect. So, and then my computer is thinking it's a new device, but I'm going to open the folder, I'm going to scan, and then all I'm going to do is copy the file into my drive. All right, so the file is in the drive of my machine, which is kind of crazy, but over on the machine it says that we need to load so I'm just going to press load after saving the upgrade file to the machine which I did okay so press load and now it will load the kit onto the machine alright so the upgrade is complete so all I need to do according to the instructions is I am going to unplug the USB cable and actually my removable drive came back up so I'm just gonna unplug this alright and then I'm supposed to switch off the machine so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna turn the machine back on and then the embroidery carriage is gonna move and then I'm gonna go back to settings and page four. And as you can see, the certification kit is checked, so we should be good. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching everyone. Bye!